Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wedding Rags to Island Riches, our Sims 4 Island Living Challenge, uh, Rags Riches Challenge, that is, in case, you know, the whole Wedding Rags thing didn't give it away, with our missing bride with missing memories, Nalui! Or should I say, Conservation Director Nalui? Nalui is now a Conservation Director. She was promoted from Nature Historian yesterday, uh, which was really exciting exciting. Probably the fact that she basically lives at work is definitely making people think that she has what it takes to really- Oh! Hey, Nalui, we'd love to have you join Covalent Bonds! Oh, yes, Mikhail! Oh my gosh, Makoa even! That would be so cool! What? That is so much fun! They're gonna have- No, 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 Mikhail, we're gonna have like a meeting elsewhere. I can't believe she just got invited into Covalent Bonds. That is so amazing. Which their goal is to like use the telescope, use a rocket, fix objects, use the microscope. <gasps> Maybe they're gonna start expanding to rocketry over at the observatory. That is so cool. But we get to meet Erwin, uh, which is so perfect because he's from Strangerville. Brandon, Janessa uh, in Covalent Bonds, which sounds really fun. We might even try to like help this club get more members. How can I add? Okay, you gotta come down here and uh, upgrade the capacity. But that would be so much fun. I Just as I was telling you guys how she's always at the observatory and it's making a great impression on her bosses, we basically get a call from the equivalent of her boss. <laughs> And uh, we we get to start like being being in his like inner club. That's so much fun. Okay, well we'll probably have to like drop the major chords club at some point in the near future. But I do want to try to become better friends with the people in it first. Uh, but we'll talk about that later. Anyway, cool. We're being recognized at work, even if we don't recognize ourselves some days in the mirror. We are being recognized at work and we have been promoted to conservation director. I've already, like she already had logic level six from all of the stargazing she does. And now we already did the researching conservation on the computer at the observatory this morning. And she came back home and has been working on planting things in her new outfit. Look at her adorable new conservation outfit. I love it so much. Let's take a second to appreciate the details. I love the rainbow patch. That's amazing. You're sending all sorts of supportive signs, uh, possibly... <gasps> When we make the rainbow, like when we make the, the waterfall healthier, will it have rainbows that we can see? That would make my heart so freaking happy. We need to work on the health of the island for sure. We have a little a compass so we won't lose our way. That actually makes me want to go and explore in the cave at some point today. That would be really fun. We have got a little patch that looks like it could be for a bug or something like that. We've got shears, gloves, a little spot to put different vials in. And then we also have another patch on the back. Maybe we should start being sent around the world. <gasps> that would be so fun in the future to have Nalui start going on like these other events to do. Maybe we'll have her do like special events after she finishes up her um, her challenge, the Rags to Riches challenge. What if she starts some sort of like conservation research group and we could found a little college of some kind that we could send all of our future sims and legacies. Holy cow, I love that idea so much. And we have a little net at the back as well. Also the very important, wonderful boots and long sleeves, long like pants. You may wonder like if you're in an island, why you would want to wear those. Depending on where you are, depending on the bugs that might be around, that is actually fantastic protection, trust me. More than once I thought I was being clever by having shorter sleeves to keep me cool while we were like tromping around the forest as a group and I regretted it. I, I always used to think my professor was so weird for wearing like super heavy duty long sleeves and pants and shoes but he was the only one who would come out without like worrying about having tick bites or other bugs on him. Uh, so yeah, there's a reason you wear that long stuff even on hot days and because it is kind of like this is very busy work She actually managed to put her hair up though. Now. She's uncomfortable 
because of the temperature. Oh, now we're going to have to change out of it, even though I was just telling everyone, Nalui, how cool it is that you're wearing this outfit. I love the hibiscuses. But we have put her hair up with her new job as well. She has a cute little bandana that she picked up at the observatory. Just one of those stray things people leave around. And a cute little set of aquamarine earrings that I'm going to pretend she had made out of a crystal that she found near the observatory too. So I really, I love how all of that has just kind of come together. Uh, so we've already done quite a bit, like everything we can do for work, but we can do extra work to try to get promoted and get the research data. Let's actually send that into the research center, both of them, which gives us a little extra money <gasps> and our performance is immediately excellent. Okay, we're gonna try to do the little bit of extra work to get promoted tomorrow, cause that would be amazing. And we are going to try to enjoy rebate day, a tradition that our newly materialistic Nalui loves because it will earn 10% rebate for today only. We need to buy at least $500 worth of simoleons to complete this tradition. And we are totally going to do that. We might even sell some of the coconut trees that have popped up on us. We might even take a whole bunch of microscope samples and go make a ton of microscope slides uh, at the microscope at the conservation center too to make all of those things happen. Uh, but before we spend money on the house, I actually want to come over. And as we have been asked, all right, Nalui, you have uh, gone up the, the ranks of being like part of the conservation team so quickly. What is it you would really like to study? Would you like to start becoming somebody who really campaigns amongst the public? Or would you like to start studying the waterways? Since the career branch for conservation uh, goes, one direction will take you into the marine biology where we can search the seas for hidden mysteries. And the other direction will take you into uh, being a conservation um, like campaigner. So you'll have a much more public job helping to write policies and things like that to take care of the conservation goals. Oh, we did it. Okay, let's actually come over and survey. Let's take a photo and survey. We'll say we're studying the wildlife and seeing how, I mean, even though we're gonna sell these coconut trees for our own benefit in just a second here, I'm sure that studying them is something that Nalui is, and we'll collect a little microscope sample on a few of them. Yeah, I think if we can just like take photos, we'll say she's running some experiments and tests and studying these, even though it also is related to the fact we're gonna sell the coconut trees. But look at how cute they are. Oh, I love this. Oh, that's so fun. But all right, so with the conservation career, you can either become a public voice or you can start searching the seas and really searching the ocean, especially for lost treasure and the mysteries within and the fish species we haven't even started to really build an aquarium and be able to research. That's something that has appealed to Louis for a long time. So we're actually gonna come and before we spend any money at the house, we're going to, as soon as she finishes surveying this, because our queue is full, there we go. Yes, and we were able to gather more valuable data. Send that off to the research center. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, this is perfect! Mepulam, Mua Palam is thriving. The island is healthier overall and animals consider it a sanctuary. Sea turtles, oh my gosh, fully restored in its prime? Sea turtles have been sighted laying eggs on the beach. Keep a lookout for special baby turtle hatching events. There's also been reports of a rare albino dolphin in the water. <gasps> Mu, Mu Palam is fully restored to its prime? What? Um... Um, oh. oh my gosh, we did it, we did it you guys, there's more coral and little fish everywhere and I just, oh my gosh, look at all the new coral, look at all the new fish, this is amazing. We did it! We got the conservation event high enough and all of the trees are doing better. This is so cool! What about the volcano? The volcano, I guess those are just natural outputs that the volcano does then. Oh, but look, all of the nastiness that was draining out of it is gone. <gasps> I 
can't believe we did it. It is, I think, entirely a sign that Nalui really does have a knack for all of this. I'm kinda in shock. I did not, and now we're so excellent at our job, I'm pretty sure we're about to get promoted. Let's say the research that she has done on these freaking coconut trees has actually helped Malu Palam to, Mua, Mua Palam to start completely thriving. I can't believe this. This is amazing. I need just a minute to like look at all of this. We need to clean up some of the trash still, but the beaches, look at this. Oh, that's it. This is why we have to buy the gear and we have to like figure out what else is in the deep sea. I am, I can't believe, I can't believe we've finally done it and we've done it through studying the trees. <laughs> that's such a me thing to do. But all right, let's spend some money to celebrate on the dive gear. So dive gear, you can get a diving knife, which helps you, uh, enables diving for seashells, which sounds amazing. The rebreather enables scuba diving. So the dive gear will stay with us. So I think we should start with that. And then now we can scuba dive. And then we can also buy the underwater camera to take underwater pictures, which completely sounds like something that I would want to do. So we're going to go ahead and do that, even though it's very, very expensive. Now we can take underwater photos. Holy cow. You can also do the treasure tool, which enables diving for treasure. And you can get the diving knife for seashells. So, and you can also get the spearfishing gun, but I don't, I don't know if that would be our thing. Hopefully if we did it, we'll pretend it's like a net spearfishing gun so that we can like study the fish that come back up. Um, I kind of want to get the treasure tool. Let's do it. We're celebrating. Let's get the treasure tool. And now we can free dive for treasure, um, or we can scuba dive for treasure. And then we also, let's get the diving knife. So we just got an entire, like now we can scuba dive for treasure. We can scuba dive for seashells. We can take underwater pictures. That's all amazing. Uh, there's butterflies frolicking on the land. This is fantastic. This is so fantastic. And we're gonna sell a bunch of these coconut trees that we just planted because it has brought in quite a bit of money by doing that. And then we're gonna turn around and we are gonna continue to celebrate the amazing, amazing, thriving world that we have suddenly found ourselves in by spending some money. <laughs> Let's do this, guys. I am so tickled. I can't believe we like saved the island already. I need, where's my tea? I need a sip of tea, wow. Well, that's thrilling, very thrilling. I actually feel like we might start spending some time on the other islands now <laughs> so that we can just hang out with our friends and, and do things there. But all right, so what does our wonderful Nalui actually want? Well, let's take a peek at her wants just to see. She wants to buy a dishwasher apparently. I think that's a little bit of a silly want since we are a off the grid lot, but I could understand how the impulse might be there. So let's see, should I just get that out of the way? So that then we can kind of see what other things she might want. And who knows, maybe we'll end up buying a retail lot at some point and like try making a rags to riches challenge of uh, like, or something, maybe like a, a, a challenge of an aquarium. That would be really fun. All right, where's the, I think it would be under plumbing. Well, oh, and we have $500 in bills I need to remember to pay. <laughs> I'm glad that just like randomly popped into my head. I was like, I think I'm forgetting something. <gasps> oh, I forgot I had this from Bakey. This is a broken jar trash can. Let's totally get this. Oh, this is such a cool creation from Bakey, but it is actually a broken jar trash can that I think I'm gonna go ahead and like put outside next to our, this is so cool. We're gonna put it outside next to our bathroom because it looks amazing. And this is finally the new trash can for our lot because we never had a trash can before. And I like the idea that it is from some buried treasure that we found. I would love to complete the buried treasure collection. That would be really fun. Uh, all right, and where, oh where? Let's see. Come to me, dishwasher. There's for 
Let's see, yellow roses, kitchen appliances. I guess, would it be under kitchen appliances? Yeah, hey, there we go. Okay, let's get like the cheapest dishwasher <laughs> because, uh, you know, it's not gonna work here. Oh, I forgot about like all oh, the summer drink tray. You guys, we're gonna have so much fun now that we can start making money. I am so freaking tickled. Uh, all right, all right, all right. So let's just get a cheap dishwasher that we will stick on the counter. Um, and does that make her happy? I just want to get that out of the way. And woohoo and woohoo in a bush. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think her thoughts are turning to somewhat more romantic pursuits, but the dishwasher is like not going to actually work. So we're just gonna sell it because we're on an off the grid lot. And let's start with her bedroom, I think. I have a few ideas for how we're gonna really kind of make this place pretty fun. But let's begin. In fact, let's go ahead and just see. Let's 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 see all. And then let's go to island living. And let's see what sort of special island living items we just want to celebrate with. Because I think this is a time for total celebration. So there's the Can Do Canopy Double Bed. Turn your dreams into the paradise of dreams. Let's read this. Turn your bedroom into the paradise of your dreams. Canopy can be an everyday luxury thanks to the simple yet elegant design. Say yes to wicker accents, soft wisp of fabric, and the knowledge that a fancy bed makes you plain better than anyone else. <laughs> well, I think it's actually stunning and it does fit our home very, very well. Let's see if we can get some. Ooh, I like that green, but I feel like uh, Noeli's favorite color tends to be Louis's favorite color tends to go to blues. So let's go with the blues, maybe? Oh, well, that's really cute, too. Oh, but I really like that green. Louis, I might I might take your bed from you, dear. Um, oh, I like that dark. Okay, we'll, we'll compromise. It's kind of a bluish green. All right, so there's the fancy, fancy bed that I really wanted her to have. And let's actually check out maybe new walls like a little bit of a nicer bedroom perhaps this is the need for read <gasps> oh this is cute a little need for read room let's see what colors we've got oh that's really cute guys i love it it looks just like she and her friends like sat there and wove all of that together it matches the window perfectly that's so precious okay we're definitely getting that and then lately I have been thinking, oh no, did I seriously just move that shelf? Oh, okay. That's gonna be a bit of a hack to put back together. And don't mind if I do. There we go. And then we'll put these back down where they belong. Our little treasures that we have collected oh so carefully. And then that one goes here, this one goes there. Ha, there we go. Oh, our bedroom's so freaking cute now. But it has also been way too freaking quiet, um, in my humble opinion, on this island. So I'm also gonna come in, and it's not gonna be an island living object, but I wanna put down something to make a little bit of ambient happy noise in the background. And I actually forget that these wind chimes even exist. I literally forget that the wind chimes exist. But I think it's going to be nice to outdoor activities to go ahead and put down some wind chimes. So we have bamboo, aluminum, ceramic, bamboo again. I think they have like different, different sounds. So we're going to put down the bamboo ones. And let's make this... This is a nice one. Okay, let's see if I can get it outside a little. And I thought we'd just like kind of hang that outdoors like on the edge of the roof so it could make a little pleasant noise. Hopefully that'll work. That would be kind of nice just to have like, a, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I have been uh, anywhere where there's like a seashore, you hear the quiet little rustling of the bamboo. Oh my gosh, the trees don't even have to be fully grown. <gasps> We're doing it. We're doing it, you guys. They just had to be in the ground. They did not even have to be fully grown at trees. We've got butterflies flying everywhere. I might leave a few of them for ambiance. 
Oh, but look at all of that money that's coming to us now. All right, let's do a quick house upgrade of a few things. Look at all of that. Oh, coconuts. This is brilliant. And how much money is our house worth right now? We're already at 28,000 for what our house is worth. So I'm actually really impressed at how easy it is to get up on your rags to riches challenge um, for sure here. Let's see, let's continue doing upgrades through the house really fast. And we'll just kind of start there. So let's sell all of this junk and then let's get nicer appliances. Uh, we could get the Schmapple fridge. I really like the modern. See, we need to find things, I think. I think that all of these will kind of work on the off the grid. I worry just a tiny, tiny bit. I won't lie. Uh, that one looks kind of like a really cute. That's a really high quality fridge. We're suddenly going way, way, way up in the world, friends. <laughs> like, no hesitation. I really like this wood stove, and it is functional while off the grid. So we'll go ahead and get that as well. I feel like we might upgrade the walls in here. We might- I actually want to build, like, a, a couple other, like, house areas. And I want a fish tank. I really hope we can get a nice fish tank. In fact, I kind of want the fish tank more than I want the fridge. So hang on a second. I just remembered about the fish tanks. <laughs> All right, so fish tank. Where would the big tank be? Is that gonna be like recreation? It's gonna be under miscellaneous. That's where it's gonna be. Where's that big honker? This is the C plus tank. And I could have sworn that there was an even bigger one. There was like this gigantic square boy somewhere, right? Let's see. Let's see what happens if I look for aquarium. Aquarium. Okay, is this what it's gonna be? Okay, so maybe it's just like this guy. Oh, but that's so cool. How could we not? We need this. We need this in our lives. This is perfect. Then we can start doing our proper research on the different fish. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, so there's that. We still have tons more money. She's gonna really enjoy her rebate day so much. Uh, let's go back to that cute little fridge. Do I want this one though? Oh, this one comes in blue, but it actually looks like a fridge. And this one you can kind of pass off as maybe like a weird, a weird little, there we go, functional wall off the grid, like a weird little pantry. Let's sell that. And then let's go back to seeing like show all. Give me those island living items. Let's see what we got. We have a really beautiful bewitching counter. Oh, that's so cute. I really like it. Oh, this is so fun. I didn't really get a chance to like investigate the counters and everything uh, very thoroughly when we first began. And then what else do we have in here? Ooh, the bonfire, that'd be fun. Oh, and the fish traps. Maybe I should get more fish traps down too. And we can actually sell this little sink and there is a functional, well off the grid, mother nature's lava sink. How about them apples, my friends? All right, let's see. Okay, that's really cute. This is coming together much better now. The jet ski! I totally forgot about getting an aqua zip. We need to get an aqua zip to go a little faster. And we actually, by the way, unlocked a new flower sale ability that I have no idea what it does uh, with, the, uh, with the promotion that we got. So we'll have to look at that too. Let's see. Oh, plants! Are you kidding me? Of course we're going to add plants. I didn't. Need, I can't believe I haven't looked at the new plants in the expansion yet. That is just criminal activity on my behalf. Oh my gosh, that's more like it. That's more like it. Hello, beautiful. Welcome, welcome. I hope you like your new home because I sure like you. We can even come in and start like adding. Oh, that's glorious. Oh, that's so cool! You guys! Look at how cool our house is becoming! This is amazing! This is everything I ever wanted, like, times a million. This is so cool. There, You could even put- oh, can you put a tiny shipwreck? What about a tiny- <gasps> We could even have a tiny shipwreck! That's so fun! And then there's, like, the little rocks we could decorate with. There's- oh, it's just all so pretty. The buried treasure. Yeah, these! This is what I was talking about. 
like I said, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I visit like beachy areas, whoops, people always have these little decorations everywhere. We'll say she wove that out of the uh, the coconuts that she has. And I think that's pretty good for now. Oh, the toilet, I was gonna try to upgrade, but you know what? We now have a trash can. We have got a really cool aquarium. We have got all that diving gear. We have got an upgraded kitchen. I'm happy. I'm really happy with where this is beginning to go. And we've barely moved our lot value at all. I'm beginning to see the challenge of the rags to riches challenge, friends. I'm beginning to see the challenge. But look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, and the last thing I want to do to really celebrate the day is we are going to go ahead. Oh, this is so cool. We're going to go ahead and we are going to have her boat out. Well, let's change into... So Nalui has had an absolutely amazing time as being a conservationist she has really had the opportunity to add to her life can we get these chimes admire new possession let's do high pitch oh i love that and louis has really had an absolutely amazing opportunity to use the research that she found through all of the coconut trees that she <gasps> studied to change this is so exciting swim oh my gosh to to change how the invasive species were being researched on the island and now the island is healthy which is amazing and we have only just begun really having an impact on the land just because the island oh my gosh Hang on, Liliana. Uh, so uh, just because the island has been thriving doesn't mean that we can turn away from the fish poachers and from the litter bugs and everyone who might cause problems for the land. So the research will continue. And in honor of that research, Nalui, look at your house. I can't believe we have literally built this from nothing but like our wedding dress. This has been amazing. Let's go ahead and have her change into her swim gear. And then we're actually going to, oh, look at all the fish. It's just teeming with fish now. We're going to go ahead and we are going to sell here. And we're going to do our very first underwater photography as we begin a new branch and a new part of our adventures and a new arena of our research. And let's actually see what the flower sale is, because I would love to see activate flower sale. So let's get the flower sale activated really quickly. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You guys. You guys. This is, this is amazing. This is so amazing. I can't even handle how amazing this is. Now we've literally got flower petals trailing behind us as we boat around in our canoe. That is the special ability we unlocked as a conservationist of this tier. Yeah, things are only going to get better from here. Things are only going to get better from here. Let's go ahead and try taking an underwater picture to celebrate the last of it. I mean, look at this. Okay, let's see. Uh, show hidden objects off. Okay, now I can't remember what it is for the freaking plum bob. I always get all of the different, the different mods mixed up, but or the different games mixed up. I'm just, I'm so excited. And let's try out our new dive gear. <gasps> that's so cool! Oh my gosh, that's so cool! And now she's gonna, while we have these flower petals and the moon rising, this is fantastic. And again, now I can see why it's gonna be so hard to get our house up to 100,000 in value. But there we go. Look at this, you guys. I'm actually doing this. This is amazing. And now she's inspired deep under the ocean, enjoying the oceanic splendor. She's a child of the ocean. She's happy from a relaxing swim. She's got her fitness level going up from doing this deep sea diving. 
Look at the reflection on the water. Oh, you can see the little plankton moving about. Like the stars in the sky, the plankton in the sea. Our photography has gone up to level two. Don't forget those selfies. Nelui's face is a work. Nelui's face is a work of art, and pictures taken with her phone help increase her photography skill. Wow! I don't even know what we're working on in there. I want to see Nelui. I really, really, really want to see. She's been slimed. Don't drown, my dear. Please don't drown. And as she comes back up for air. We got one underwater photo! Okay, guys, there we are. What an amazing experience. And we were in our dive gear. Let's go ahead and see. It's worth 200 samples, my friends. Let's put it in the house. Um, maybe right next to our brand new aquarium. We need to make this house much bigger, in my opinion. And here it is. This is the very first picture we have ever taken underwater. This is so cool. I can't believe that's not part of some new collection. Can I change the way it looks? I can't change the way it looks, but holy cow, we can sell the publication for fame. What? Oh, this is so fun. I think I know how we are going to become famous, my friends. I think I'm getting a feeling for how we are going to become famous. But all right, I am beyond happy. This has been absolutely amazing. Nalui seems like she is beyond happy too. I don't even know what skill she's working on <laughs> because of uh, because of her relaxing time in her canoe with all of these flower petals, with the island just absolutely thriving. I, I am so happy. I am so happy and I cannot wait to help clean up the beaches and make this place even better to see the rare sea turtle hatching events, to watch as the bioluminescent algae just lights up the like, night. Oh, this is, this is wonderful. This, my heart is so happy. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me and Nalui as we complete this chapter of her adventures and prepare to move to the next ones, which we're going to have to think, what should her next goal be? And I hope all of you are having a wonderful day. If you could, do please leave a like to search the seas with Nalui for more wonders. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.